Hello. We will begin our 2020 Ajax High School commencement ceremony with the acknowledgement of Indigenous heritage, followed by our national anthem. The Durham District School Board acknowledges that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships, both historic and modern, with the territories upon which our school board and schools are located. Today, this area is home to many Indigenous peoples from across Turtle Island, North America. We acknowledge that the Durham region forms a part of the traditional and treaty territory of the Mississaugas of Scugog Island First Nation, the Mississauga peoples, and the treaty territory of the Chippewas of Georgina Island First Nation. It is on these ancestral and treaty lands that we teach, learn, and live. Thank you to Mr. Johnson Chung, acclaimed musician and parent of one of our graduates for providing this year's version of O Canada. Welcome honored guests, graduates, family and friends to the 64th annual commencement for Ajax High School. My name is Eleanor McIntosh and I am the principal of Ajax High School. On behalf of the staff, students and administration, I am honored to welcome you to this celebration of student achievement. The school has had a long-standing reputation of academic achievement and success and today we reflect upon the past, live in the present and look forward to the future. Now I would like to introduce the members of our platform party. First, Donna Edwards, trustee for the town of Ajax, Ward 3. Carol Ann Bell Prue, chair of the School Community Council for Ajax High School. Tanya Swanson, teacher at Ajax High School. Stefania Vlasi, valedictorian for the Ajax High School graduating class of 2020. Russell Davidson, Vice Principal Ajax High School students with the last name A to L. And Alicia Russell, Vice Principal Ajax High School students with last name M to Z. Thank you. For all our families and caregivers, a digital copy of the commencement program for our celebration can be found on the Ajax High School website. Feel free to share or download your own copy if you wish as we will not have printed copies available. I would like to invite Trustee Donna Edwards to come forward and bring greetings on behalf of the Board of Trustees for the Durham District School Board. Graduates, parents, family, friends and staff. My name is Donna Edwards and I am the Ajax trustee for Ward 3. I am pleased that I have been given the opportunity to participate and celebrate with the graduating class of Ajax High School. Graduating from high school is a major accomplishment, a milestone in your life. While the end of the school year and the graduation ceremony is not what you expected, the fun you have had during your years at Ajax High School and the memories you've built will last a lifetime. Martin Luther King Jr. stated that the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character 
That is the goal of true education. Your teachers, mentors, peers, parents, family and friends have all helped you develop those critical thinking skills and the drive to continue to be lifelong learners. The challenges you have faced have helped build character and resiliency. All these people along with the challenges have helped provide you with a true education. No matter what pathway you have chosen after high school, you have been given the skills you need to achieve your future goals. As you start the next stage of your life, I would like to leave you with a quote from Mark Twain. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off your bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds in your sails, explore, dream, discover. On behalf of the Durham District School Board of Trustees, I congratulate the graduating class of 2020 and wish you the best in your future endeavors, whatever they may be. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Edwards. Unfortunately, our Superintendent of Education, Margaret Lazarus, could not join us today. She has provided greetings on behalf of the senior leadership team for the Durham District School Board. Hello, it is my genuine pleasure to bring greetings on behalf of the senior team of the Durham District School Board. We are so happy to be marking your success as graduates, albeit not in the way we would normally. You should feel a great sense of pride in your accomplishments and recognize that as a graduating class, you will always carry with you the memory of how you managed in a worldwide pandemic. I know that your narrative will be in part what was not because of it. I encourage you, however, to consider the important and lifelong lessons this pandemic taught you in your final year of high school. Resiliency, sense of community, and global responsibility are all important attributes that you have deep knowledge of from a formative time in your life. As you move forward, you will carry valuable lessons with you that were learned from this firsthand experience. I am happy to welcome you back to your alma mater's celebration of you as alumni. I know that there are many individuals who played a role in your successes to date. I'd like to sincerely thank your parents or guardians and family members for the effort they invested in partnership with the Durham District School Board to support your journey. I also want to acknowledge the Durham District School Board staff for their dedication. Every time you go above and beyond, a student's life is positively impacted and today's celebration is evidence of that. The role of public education cannot be taken for granted, especially at times such as these, when its importance is illuminated in creating an equitable and civil society. As public school graduates, I hope that you carry with you always the importance of striving to have a positive impact on others, and when you encounter an opportunity to make a difference, that you do so with consideration of how to support those who are most vulnerable amongst us. Once again, on behalf of the senior team of the DDSB, our sincere congratulations on your accomplishment and our very best wishes in your future endeavors. We are going to begin our proceedings by recognizing the accomplishments of some of our exceptional students who are receiving their Certificate of Accomplishment or Ontario Secondary School Certificate. These students have added to the richness of the Ajax High School community, and we congratulate them for their accomplishment while at Ajax. I would now like to invite Caroline Bell Prue to come forward to congratulate these students and share a few words on behalf of the School Community Council. Good afternoon, graduates, families, and friends. I am Caroline Bell Prue, the chair of your School Community Council. On behalf of the SCC, I would like to congratulate all the 2020 graduates. What a year you've had, but one like no other in the last 100 years. So look forward from here, your future is bright. We are only sad that we couldn't make you your last set of pancakes to go out with a full belly. So congratulations again, good luck in your new endeavors. Thank you, Ms. Bell Pru. We are now ready to acknowledge the rest of our graduating students. For today and tomorrow's formal presentation of diplomas and awards to our graduates, students and families in each Alpha group will assemble starting at the west entrance, 
then through the south parking lot. As you arrive, you will be greeted by one of our Ajax High School staff. Diplomas and awards will be handed out to each student in an envelope. Families continue through the processional by selecting the shortest line. As they approach the end of the line, the graduate will have the chance to, to have their photo taken by our photographer. Information on how to access these photos has been included in the package. Good afternoon, graduating students, parents, guardians, and family members, Ajax High School staff, and members of the administration team. My name is Tanya Swanson, and I've been given the distinct pleasure and opportunity to introduce our valedictorian for Ajax High School's class of 2020. Before I begin, however, I'd like to offer my congratulations to the class of 2020. Not only did you have to navigate the customary challenges faced by students on their journey towards graduation, and many of those can prove to be extremely difficult depending on individual circumstances. For the first time in exactly a century, you also did it while contending with the hurdles wrought by a worldwide pandemic. I know that this has posed significant challenges in your lives in terms of time management, balancing additional work hours and family responsibilities, along with traditional academic expectations, and that you have had to reimagine the end of your grade 12 year, given the restraints and limitations placed on society. But you, as a class, have done a spectacular job, and the staff at Ajax High School commend you for your hard work and determination, and we recognize all of the hardships that you have faced and sacrifices that you have made. I would like to take the next few minutes to talk about the incredibly intelligent, hardworking, and civic-minded individual whom your graduating class chose to represent you as their valedictorian, Stefania Vlasi. When Stefania's name was chosen as valedictorian, I was impressed by your selection, not only because Stefania is an exemplary student, but also because she embodies the generosity, commitment, and general goodwill of your class. Although I've had the pleasure of teaching a number of thoughtful, intelligent, and hardworking students within your class, Stefania stands out as someone in your year who has consistently made an effort to remain positive and put forth her best efforts, regardless of the pressures and pitfalls that have arisen. The first time that I met Stefania was during the 2018-2019 school year when she walked into my grade 11 law class. Although I did not know who she was at the time, two of my fellow teachers had already shared with me that she was quote unquote a fantastic student who I was lucky to have. One went so far as to say that she wished that she had decided to continue in the sciences as she knew that she could have made a big impact on them. As the semester started, I knew exactly what my fellow teachers had been trying to explain about Stefania. There are a lot of incredible students who walk through the doors of our school each year, and I am continually humbled and impressed by them. Often as teachers, we see students who possess skills or qualities that make them outstanding in one field or subject matter. Stefania is one of those students who truly excels at everything. Not only does she have the intelligence and perseverance to struggle through and master any academic material that she encounters, she consistently demonstrates integrity, a strong work ethic, humility, and a stubbornly good nature while she does it. When dealing with the struggles of balancing school and work, she rose to the occasion and grudgingly admitted that customer service was difficult and she was pretty sure that it was not her thing, but that she had learned a lot from her job. Last year, I was fortunate enough to have Stefania in my grade 12 university course. In the class, we began the year by discussing morals and values in relation to our legal system and the manner in which it changes and adapts as society changes. By the end of the week, I'd learned even more about Stefania and her willingness to go the extra mile for people around her. Her empathy and compassion for others in conjunction with her positive attitude leaves me convinced that if faced with starvation while adrift at sea, Stefania would make an excellent companion. As I told her mother during our first parent-teacher meeting, she's raised a wonderful daughter, an individual who is well-rounded, a good person, and who always puts her best foot forward. And it is for this reason that I was so happy to hear that your class had elected her valedictorian. 
This decision shows that you too appreciate the important characteristics that she embodies and represents for you, the class of 2020. I hope that each one of you finds what makes you happy, that you continue to push against, rail, and challenge the world around you, and that you will remain firm in your commitment to do what is right. Best of luck to the class of 2020 and their valedictorian, Stefania Vlasi. Hello, parents, family members, teachers, administrators, community members, and graduates. On our first day of senior year, none of us expected that attending significant events like prom and our own graduation would be called into question. But as the school year progressed, we were hit with the reality that the moments we've been waiting for since grade nine may never come. Unfortunately, we aren't able to celebrate our achievements today in person. However, we will try our best to do so virtually. When it came to putting some ideas together and planning on what I was going to say in front of you all today, I had no idea where to begin. At first, I thought to ask my fellow graduates what experiences and events during the last four years particularly resonated with them. Although my plan had been to find the commonalities between each of us and use this common ground as a place to start, I soon found that the lessons they had learned, as well as the teachers and role models that they had, differed wildly. My seemingly brilliant idea to, had utterly failed as every single person responded to my inquiries with something different. At this point, I panicked. How could I summarize four years worth of experiences for all the graduates standing alongside me within five to 10 minutes? I thought about things for some time, freaked out some more, and then realized I had missed the point entirely. We are all different. This is what we should be celebrating. Some of us are loud and outspoken. Others are quiet and keep to themselves. In our graduating class, we have those who meticulously plan every part of their lives and those of us who live in the moment and make decisions when problems present themselves. Sorry, my cap is like falling. In our graduating class, we have those who meticulously plan every part of their lives and those of us who live in the moment and make decisions when problems present themselves. Despite our differences, our years together at Ajax High School has allowed us to grow together as one. We wrote lab reports, performed in assemblies, and we played on various sports teams together. These opportunities have given us time to collaborate and to compete with one another. And despite our many differences, we have supported and encouraged each other along the way. This year, our grade 12 drama class performed the musical Aladdin, and our senior boys basketball and hockey teams won the Lhasa Championships. These are a few of the endless examples we have of our shared moments together. This has been a very nerve-wracking year for the graduating class because we have had to make some very important decisions about our futures. This was even more challenging with the added stress of a global pandemic on our shoulders. Fortunately, during the times we felt confused and overwhelmed, we had one another to talk to. Whether we simply bounced ideas off of one another, panicked over tests we had done poorly on, or celebrated getting into the programs of our choice, we always had each other. Even though the past year has been stressful, I want you to remember the fun we had together and the support we provided for one another. Our time together wasn't only spent stressed about our futures. Some of us traveled together to places like Algonquin Park, New York City, and even parts of Europe. We organized and participated in student-led initiatives such as Spirit Weeks and Bio Games. Many of us spent every Thursday before March break competing in March Madness, where we dressed up as senior citizens, celebrities, and even our own teachers. As we go our separate ways, I ask you to remember a time or event that brought you closer to your friends and classmates during your time at Ajax High School, as it is these memories, the ones we made together, that will link us forever. At this point, I would like to take a moment on behalf of the class of 2020 to thank all of those who have given us their love and support over their past over. At this point, I would like to take a moment on behalf of the class of 2020 to thank all of those people who have given us their love and support over the past four years. Firstly, thank you to our principals, Ms. Mack, Mr. Davidson, and Ms. Russell. You have listened attentively to our requests and you have always looked out for our best interests. Also, you have never failed to raise the bar for Halloween and Spirit Week costumes. To our secretaries, EAs, and custodians, thank you for all the work you do, even if it sometimes goes unnoticed. You make our day-to-day -day activities run smoothly. Next, I would like to thank our guidance counselors for always offering us a safe space to talk about our problems. Moreover, you have ensured that we have all had a seat in the classes we needed to take, no matter how many last-minute switches we requested. 
Your continuous support made the overwhelming experience of figuring out our next steps easier. Now, to our amazing team of teachers. You have been there for us in the moments we felt we had no one. You have turned your classrooms into safe spaces where we could ask for homework help or even talk about our problems. You have been invested in our goals and are just as proud of us as our own families are. We appreciate the phys ed department for always, always ensuring that the needs of their athletes were met both on and off the court. We appreciate the moderns department for speaking French and Spanish slowly enough so that we understand what you are saying. To our business and Canadian and world studies departments, thank you for showing us that topics such as supply and demand, the Cold War, and tectonic plates are less boring than they may seem. Now, I wasn't in Mr. McBride's grade 9 geography class, but from the stories that I heard on a daily basis from all of my friends, I know that I certainly missed out on some great storytelling and a very unique teaching style. Thank you to both our arts and tech departments for helping to produce the talented artists, musicians, photographers, and mechanics that we are all incredibly proud of. To our math and science departments, thank you for never failing to align your tests on the same days as one another. Nothing is better than having a physics test, a calculus test, and Mr. Delgarno's Challenge Wednesday all fall on the same day. On a serious note, each and every one of you taught us valuable problem solving and time management skills that we will carry with us for the rest of our lives. Lastly, I would like to thank those of you who have been sitting, standing, and running alongside us during the last 17 or 18 years of our lives, our families. You are our biggest fans and our greatest role models. Thank you for all the time, energy, and money you've spent on us. We are extremely grateful for everything that you do, even though we sometimes don't act like it. On a personal note, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone watching this video, especially to those of you who are still listening. I'm sorry, I've just had so much to say. It is an absolute honor to have had the chance to speak on behalf of the future doctors, lawyers, teachers, electricians, and leaders of our world. Ajax High School's Class of 2020 has some of the most brilliant and inspiring people I've ever met in it, and I'm so excited to see what the future has in store for all of us. Each one of us has so many accomplishments to be proud of. Although our grade 12 year may have been cut short by the pandemic, I feel beyond lucky to have had this opportunity to learn and grow alongside you. I wish you all nothing but success in your future endeavors. Thank you so much for your time. Please enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Ms. Swanson and Stefania. As we close the program, I would like to recognize the many individuals who worked long and hard preparing and organizing our ceremony. There are many that I wish to acknowledge. The Ajax High School clerical staff for their support behind the scenes, all our parents, families, caregivers, and guests who participated in our ceremony, and finally, to the Ajax High School staff. The teachers, educational assistants, and support staff are dedicated professionals who take pride in their work and have invested a great deal of time and effort over the years as mentors and coaches. Every graduate and award winner has reaped the benefits of their labor, expertise, and professionalism. Thank you for sharing this monumentous occasion with us. I wish to extend my congratulations to all of the graduates. We look forward to seeing you in person as you are presented with your package. Have a fantastic evening.